started by uh, lighting education and it was as it says in the book that uh, it started by a frustration that there was no uh, education in this topic and I found the lighting very very important and I made I remember in the beginning I said we educate in Sweden 10,000 engineers we educate a thousand architects we educate uh, uh, a lot of industrial designers, we educate also persons who make pottery and I mean very respectful to all these kind of things, it's very good but if we have the money for educating people making pots we must have money for educate people in lighting so that was my motivation I mean and uh, successively we built it up and it was so interesting because we uh, uh, it, uh, the question we got was to put a lamp in a room you don't need an occasion you need a hook that's enough what what should you what should you learn what should you train <laughs> about this to take this education and we have a very wide perspective but it is an architectural lighting design education and of course we are directed to, to arch architects or people by an architectural background but uh, we also welcome uh, um, uh, engineers and the designers and also people working more in the uh, medical area and uh, uh, because lighting is affecting on us so in so many ways so there is reason for have a mix of people and I think that this is perhaps the strongness here that we have a mix of people a mix of students and also a mix of, of uh, nationalities they're coming from all over the world This book is related to the 10 years of Lighting Laboratory, but in reality is not about the Lighting Laboratory. It's about architectural lighting design in 2010. And to do that, we formulated uh, questions and topics, four different ones, and send out to guests. And through their answers, we try to give uh, an idea what is the topic nowadays and what's the future going to look like. <laughs>